all the girls I loved before. Just what is good is your friendly neighborhood boot nerd here and today we're taking a look at the top five best football boots to ever get a remake. Basically, it's actually tributes to all boots that we're mainly looking at because there are very few one-to-one -one remakes out there. But it's cool, I mean, tribute boots are still pretty awesome. So in the wake of the re-release of the Adidas Predator Mania, here are the five coolest remakes that I have seen. Number five is the Nike Mercurial Vapor 3 R9 10th Anniversary, which is technically, as the name suggests, a Vapor 3 and that's necessarily not a remake as per se, but because it is so abnormally good looking, I'm gonna let it slide. This was made in 2008 as a 10 year anniversary tribute to the very first Mercurial, which was funnily enough also worn by Ronaldo R9 himself. And the design actually has some of the same details as the black colorway of that OG Mercurial R9. Very, very cool, but not necessarily a remake in the true sense of the word. In fourth, we have the first drop of Predator re-releases from Adidas, in particular, the Accelerator from the Revenge Pack. Because despite being based on the 2014 Predator Instinct, this actually captures a lot of the details from the OG awesome Predator Accelerator from 1998. Because we got the rubber Predator Swerve elements and we've got some edge details to mimic all the stitching details from the OG boot. And despite being made from a synthetic hybrid touch instead of leather and having a tongue that kind of lives its own life and really doesn't want to stay down. This is a very decent remake that hits me right in here. In third, we're getting extremely close to the real deal with the Puma Super Atom. And actually this could and should have been higher up the list because this is more or less a one-to-one -one remake of the OG Super Atom. And I'll get into that why it's almost just a one-to-one -one remake in a little bit. But anyways, we have got the very same leather, a wooden sole plate and some really, 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 really long laces. And basically, there's all the jazz from the OG boot, except for one thing, because the original Super Atom was the first boot to introduce screw-in studs, ever actually. But on the remake, the studs, well, they won't move an inch. And also, they have been put onto the sole plate with actual nails. <laughs> What's the point then? I mean, yes, this is super, super close to the OG. It's an awesome remake, but this loses out on second and first place because of nails. Creeping up into second place, beating the Super Atom, we have the Adidas Predator Mania re-release from the Champagne Pack that just dropped and then was gone in <laughs> just like that. And actually, it does just as good of a job as the Predator Accelerator from the Revenge Pack, but then it kind of ups it a bit with an actual leather tongue that's held in place with the elasticated rubber band. And then, of course, we also get the Predator's worth elements on this one that, despite being placed a bit off compared to the position on the OG Mania, actually give you a bit of the same feeling on the ball, which is nice. And obviously, as I said before, it would have been nice if they actually had used K leather on the boot. But with all the small nostalgic details, I have a lot of time for this and I am pretty happy with the new Mania. For honorable mentions, I want to show some love to the Vapor 9 15th anniversary, the Tiempo 94 and the what? The Mercurial boots. And while only the 94 is technically a modern remake, I just had to include the other two boots because they are just so awesome tributes. And basically, Nike are doing a pretty good job in that aspect. But now, we move on to number one. Because in first place, we've got the Puma B106 10th anniversary boot that is actually finally a real one-to-one -one remake. The only difference is in fact that on the new one, it says 10th anniversary on the insole. Other than that, the specs are the exact same. And if I didn't know better, I could easily be fooled into thinking that this was in fact a boot from 2006 because it's got the same lacing system on the side for a clean striking surface. It's got the same thin soft textile upper and it's got the carbon fiber plate 
in the outsole. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how you actually produce a one-to-one -one remake. This is proper Adidas and Nike. Take notice, deserve number one. This awesome top five leads me to the very big question. Which boot would you bring back to life if you could? And how would you create the perfect remake? Off it. You should let me know in the comment section as always right down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the green bubble right up there. Reward me with a like if you had a good time and don't forget to spread the word by sharing the video with your friends. And with that said, I'm signing off. See you later next time. Cheerio.